Hey everybody, Dorian here, and welcome to another episode of Layers of Fear. Um, so last we left off, we had made it back into this room, the painting changed, this door opened up with the vial of blood we had found also in last episode. These are still locked, which begs me to assume that the game will end once I have reclaimed all of these memories, because I am most likely the dude who lived in this house at one point. Is, is that a... Is that a ref that's not a reflection. Is this a window? No, that is a reflection. Why am I not in the reflection? Interesting. But I am in this reflection. What do I look like? Oh, fancy! I'm wearing a nice suit with some little frills. I kind of look like the main character from A Wolf Within, but whatever. A Wolf Among Us. A Wolf Within. What is it? What would that even be? Alright, let's see this. Um, so now that I've accomplished a new, I've unlocked a new painting, I've opened up a new panel, I'm assuming it, the scares are gonna get worse, and I'm gonna assume this is around the time the monster's gonna appear. Um, but at the same time, I wouldn't call it a complaint, but it has been noted that I am not going, th I guess I would call it a complaint, but, <laughs> that I have not been going through enough of the game and skipping over stuff. And that's why that's why when I go and I start exploring stuff and getting curious shit like that happens but you know what like that's the game isn't it like that's how it's supposed to be played that's what's supposed to happen and I'm going to do it no matter how much it scares me what is that I don't know if that's the music or a sound specifically coming from this area um, but there's nothing in there and it closed on its own Great, so the supernatural shit's getting worse. Uh, this door is all sorts of blocked off. I wonder what's behind there. I don't know if I want to know what's behind there. There's plants that are dead. And then there's plants that aren't dead. And this looks like something I'm supposed to find. Because on the wall, it's also showing all these different rats that I've collected. Um, so that must be some achievement of some kind. Rodent seeds, rotten soil. I see the dirt move, nothing else crows. Okay. Um, well, that's everything in this room, so. I mean, there's this stuff, but I don't think there's. Oh, is that a door? I don't think that's a door I can open. Yeah. That's a locked door, and this is very linear in that I can only go one way at any given time, so. Hey, that's the piano from earlier! Now, I did not do this in my playthrough. I didn't even try, I don't think, but in, oh, I wanna say it's Markiplier's playthrough. He played, he was actually able to play the piano in the first in the first area and it, it did something. I don't know if that would affect what happens later on or maybe the fact that I didn't play the piano affects things. Um, all I'm noticing is the fact that that door is already open and I do not like that. What's in here? Anything? Whenever I open a drawer, with something important, it usually whispers at me before. And uh, he's actually kind of attractive. Um, oh! I should have seen that coming. Don't know why I didn't. Don't know why I didn't see that coming, but I should have. Of course it's gonna want me to interact with it. Um, so there's a painting of a canyon, and there's another painting of, oh, a dead woman. Huh, wonder if that's a little personal to him. So, that block basically blocked me from going through that open door. Thereby forcing me to go down this one. I don't like how much this is leading me. If I was in this actual place, I would have already been freaked out by the fact that, you know, I'm just walking in circles. Um. And you know, the doors, everything else, right? But I definitely would be creeped out by the fact that it's very obviously leading me somewhere specific. Is that another side of the house? Why are those lights? What's that thing swinging? That better be a tree. I think that's a tree. Ah! That wouldn't have happened had I not gone to the window. Because I would have walked straight through. Holy shit, this is not good. It's like the more I do, the worse it gets. 
That is no, man. No. That was creepy. What was that? Was that the wife? And now I'm in this literally empty room. And it wants me to go across. Oh. It's so predictable, but it's predictable. And that's what makes it scarier. Because you know something's going to happen. And I'm still trapped in here. Oh, man. I can't turn around. Get ready for this. What? Creator's block. Oh, because I'm a painter. I get it. It's like writer's block for painters. Can I close the door? And now I have to open it again? Oh, you clever bastards. Whoever made this game, I have to look up who made this game and give them, and give them credit. I'm sure they already got tons of credit from other YouTubers, but they made a fantastic game. This game... As terrifying as it is, is absolutely thrilling. It's absolutely fantastic. I I love it. Okay, it still says creator's block. How am I supposed to get out of here? Oh! Okay, now I'm just trapped. <laughs> oh, man, I didn't like this. They were like, you know, we need to add something in this game for people who are claustrophobic. I'm not personally claustrophobic as far as I know, but... Um, this would definitely fuck with someone who is. I don't I don't know what it wants from me. Oh it just wanted me to look away. Oh great. This is creepy. This is so creepy. It's cool, but oh my god, what is all of this? Oh no. Oh. Oh, oh ho, ho, ho! Don't make me go backwards. Did you see that? That baby, that hanging baby just dropped from the ceiling. Can I keep going forward? No. I have to go back to where the, oh, what? Where am I? What just happened? What is this place? Oh, the window's gone now. Oh my God, this game is fucking with my mind. Every time I turn around, something changes. Every time I turn around, something's different. I don't like it. Oh my god, this is this is scary, man. All right, well let's see if there's anything I can look at in here. Sometimes there's there's little clues to the story, and I can open that. And last time I did, there was a fucking dead baby inside. I mean, they're all dolls, but they're all dolls, but still. All right, I'm gonna open it. I'm gonna puss away while I do it. Oh, it's locked. Okay, cool. Okay, cool. All right, I guess we have to go through this door then. Ah! Bad door. <laughs> Bad fucking door. Yeah, I was definitely right that uh, now that we've unlocked that second thing, it's going to get worse. Which means that once we get the third and, and fourth, this game is just going to progressively get scarier. And, and I don't know what I'm going to do. I honestly, I have no idea what I'm going to do when it gets scarier. I might have to have someone sit in here in this room with me because I am, when I get scared, I get scared. Like, I cannot be alone. Okay, now we're back in this room. Remember this room? This is where um, there was that door that was all chained up. Um, there's a little painting right there. What's going to happen to me now? The painting's still the same over there. That door's no longer blocked. That one's no longer... Okay, that's full of books. That one's no longer chained. And that one is no longer blocked. That has two doors. I mean, that one was chained. I think that one's going to have the worst thing. <sighs> Let's go this way. I feel like you guys would enjoy this one more. I'm in the library now. Okay. Alright, this is a pretty big room for this game. I haven't seen a room this big in a while, so maybe there's... Oh, and it has a staircase that goes goes down there, because I can't jump. And that must be an exit, but I feel like there's, there's information in here, maybe. So, let's go see. I have a really bad habit of when I get scared, I pull away from the... the 
the screen, you know, and the camera as well. And uh, sorry if I go out of the lens and you guys can't see me. I zoomed in a little bit more this episode so you could see my face a little bit better. And uh, I, I, I'm now aware that I do this a lot because I'm a giant pussy, like I've said. That looks like something I should be able to read, but I can't. Um, there's also a door here and a door up there. I'm already downstairs, so I'm going to go through this door, I think. I guess we'll go through this door. I didn't really see anything I could ex I could read. And now I'm in a hallway. Which seems like a terrible place to be in this game. Is that a phone or is that... What is this? What is that noise? Oh, it's a distraction. It's just the noise is there to make me. Oh! Why is that painting back? That painting was in the other room. Okay. Where am I? Something had fallen. It's almost like time is going backwards, because it kind of does... Am I just going in circles now? Oh, no. Don't make me just go in circles. Now I'm upstairs? What's happening? Yep, time's going backwards, and that phone's ringing, and I'm going to have to answer it. I don't want to answer it. Are you going to really make me... All right, let's see what's over here before I answer that phone. Anything? It's just gonna make me go in a circle again, I bet. Oh, it stopped. No, it didn't. Okay, I guess I have to keep going. I guess I have to keep going in this circle of torture. This torturous circle! Okay, what is it now? What is it now? It's the same thing. Yeah, so I'm supposed to answer the phone. I can't answer the phone. Like, I legit can't answer the phone. Am I supposed to go forward when it happens? Alright, I'm gonna try something new this time. I'm gonna try and be where the phone is when it spawns and see if that works. As much as it scares me. Did I beat it? No? Okay, here we go. I don't know what to do. So, time is going slow. Time is going slow. Time is going slow, which means... Okay, so it's kind of like when we had that record in that one room that I got stuck in. I was like, how do I do this? How did we solve that? I don't remember how we solved that. Okay, what did we do? We, uh... Okay, so we had... Okay. Okay. Okay, so this whole game revolves around time being manipulated, right? Um, so... We, we solved that puzzle by making it play normal to return time to the way it was, so... If we go backwards... And that sounds normal. And then it just fell over. Oh, yes, that's a yes. creepy voice. What? What do you want from me? It's still ringing, but someone just answered it. Someone literally just answered it. I don't want to go find whoever answered that goddamn phone. Oh, now I'm downstairs. What the hell? Yes. Uh huh. Hi. Does it want me to touch the phone? Uh, <laughs> Hello? Hello? Yes, okay. speak. Oh, this is the next what? key. 
What fire? fire. Mm -hmm. Oh God! Oh. Is she? she? Which hospital? Which hospital? Oh. I'm on my way. Remember that that letter we found way back when? Remember that letter we found? It was a long time ago. Uh, first episode, right? We found this letter in the bedroom, and it was talking about a fire at this workshop or this this uh, this store. Um, maybe that's where his wife was, and she died or something, and he went fucking crazy. But they also kind of alluded to maybe her like fucking him fucking killing her. So who knows? How do I get out of here? Now I'm just trapped again. Oh, great, a door. Thank you. Restless memories. <laughs> this does not look like a room I want to be in. Uh, uh, okay. All right, let's just leave. Just let oh God! Oh God, no! 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 Do I have to open it again? How do I even get out of here? It's so dark, I can't see anything. Uh, oh, oh god, where where do I go? It's so dark, I can't see anything. Ah! Okay, so this whole place is upside down. Oh, that looks creepy. What's that say? Something thoughts. I I, I I I I don't know if I can get close enough to read that. Is there a, is there a light I can turn on somewhere? That's upside down. That shouldn't be like that. There's a light switch. Fuck me. All right, let's flip it. Oh. Okay. So did the light switch manipulate things? Okay. So let's see what we can find in here, and then we'll end the episode. Uh, see if there's anything interesting. For some backstory in this game. Cause they gave us some new info without really telling us anything. And I've I've moved around, so it looks like I, I'm free to kind of explore a little bit. No, nothing in there. Well, let's double check. I didn't really open it that much. Mm, nope, nothing. Okay. Close that back up. Alright, so there's just this this. Flapping horror, be quiet, constantly flapping, eating other rats. So a rat turned into a bat, apparently. Um, and that's where we're gonna we're gonna leave this episode off. Next episode, we'll just go straight through that door and and continue the game. Um, that fucking scared me, and it's getting progressively scarier. And we're only two thirds of the way through the game, um, as far as I know, because there's six panels. And we've got two of them. And it's just gonna get so much worse. It's gonna get so much scarier and uh, my body and my mind are not ready for this, but we can do this. We can get through this game. We can get through this. We can do this. Okay. Anyways, thank you all for watching. Um, thanks for joining in this video. Um, if you enjoyed the video, make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Other than that, I hope you all have a wonderful day. And I will catch you all in my next video. Later.